Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So Forza Horizon 4 has been out for around half a year now and with the end of the car pass just recently, the game has now somewhat slowed down in terms of bringing in new vehicles which isn't necessarily a problem as the team over at Playground Games still work hard to bring at least a few cars every month to keep the game somewhat fresh. However, on various websites like Reddit, the official Forza forums and many others, the Turn 10 and Playground Games team have given us a platform in which we are able to have a car wish list that we can all write down what cars we want in the near future. The problem is, the posts get so bombarded that many of our requests that we want actually don't get seen by anyone from the team. So in today's video, here is my proposal in hopes that a member of the Playground Games or Turn 10 team will see this as I present 10 new hypercars that I want in Forza Horizon 4. Starting off with number 1, the Koenigsegg Jesko. Claimed to be the first road legal car to reach 300 miles per hour, this will be a great addition to Forza Horizon 4 or any other future Horizon games as we can soon wave goodbye to the Jaguar D-Type and Mosler as the only cars to reach 300 miles per hour in Forza Horizon 4. As the successor of the Agera RS, that also means that it is a track focus machine too. With a redesigned 5 litre twin turbo V8, the Jesco now produces 1280 brake horsepower, which for Koenigsegg standards doesn't seem like much. However, feed it with E85 and the power increases to a whopping 1600 brake horsepower. Mate that with a 9 speed light speed transmission, that means acceleration between gears is instantaneous. No gaps, just pure straight speed. Did you also know that Jesco was named after the company's founding father? Number 2. The Mercedes-AMG Project 1 According to Mercedes, this car uses proper Formula 1 hybrid technology and not just fragments being scattered around, but according to Mercedes, almost par to par in order to highlight the 50th anniversary of AMG. Build as a hypercar that can be ferocious on the racetrack and also be delicate as a daily commute, this Project 1 could be the sign of the future featuring one turbo engine and four electric motors with a couple of them actually being integrated into the engine itself. This makes a total of 1,231 horsepower with a rev limit of 11,000 RPM. Why can't I just have lots of money? Number 3. The Aston Martin Valkyrie with only 150 of these planned to be built, this hypercar is truly set to be very special. Much like the Mercedes AMG Project 1, the Aston Martin believes that this is the closest thing that you will get to a Formula 1 car without being restricted to the track. With Red Bull Racing being a big part of this project, the Valkyrie is certainly worthy to be Aston Martin's first hypercar ever. With an astonishing power to weight ratio of 1 to 1, the Valkyrie is a very light car, but what's more important is that it's powered by a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12 with hybrid technology, all enough for pumping 1160 brake horsepower, which will certainly give the Mercedes a run for its money. Number 4. The McLaren Speed Tail Now despite what others may think, I like the look of this car. As I mentioned before, there is a very old school look about this modern futuristic hypercar and it's a design cue that not many have adopted. But despite all that, it is all functional, touted as the most aerodynamically efficient car ever and the fastest McLaren to date. It's almost as if the Speedtail is the spiritual successor to the McLaren F1 and not the P1 with the same center driving position offering a race car feel. Top speed can go beyond 250 miles per hour and producing 1,036 brake horsepower from an engine that we have yet to still discover. But for me, this might be the coolest McLaren to date. Number 5. The Bugatti Devo Now according to Bugatti, the Devo is the most agile and dynamic car they have ever created. Focusing more on downforce rather than speed, the Devo is 35 kilograms lighter than the Bugatti Chiron. 
Now, you might think, well, that's not that impressive. Just eat less McDonald's and drive the Chiron instead. But apparently, the Devo was able to lap a handling circuit in Nardo eight seconds faster than a Chiron, which that itself is quite impressive. With extensive chassis tuning, visual changes, and a lower ride height, the Devo is still very fast. With a limited top speed of 236 miles per hour, it still possesses a W16 quad turbo engine that produces the Bugatti usual of 1,479 brake horsepower. So it may not be as fast in a straight line as the Chiron, but apparently it will destroy it around bends. Number 6. The Bugatti La Vettura Nua Simply put, the world's most expensive car ever, a one-off Bugatti hypercar made completely out of carbon fiber, has been sold to one purchaser for an estimated 14.2 million pounds, which is like a billion US dollars. But what makes this Bugatti so unique is everything has been handcrafted, sculpting it to perfection while still retaining the signature Bugatti look. It's also been said that this car is also a modern interpretation of the classic Bugatti Type 57. But the most astounding thing about this car is if you look very closely, it's all in one piece. Number 7. The AMRB 003 so we have seen the Aston Martin Valkyrie earlier, well this is the Sun, a hybrid turbocharged V6 which taken in comparison to the other hypercars that have been on this list, it seems fairly small. But remember, that's the engines that the Formula 1 cars are currently running and they of course are engines with extraordinary power. Not much else is known about this car as it just got unveiled recently at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, but all we know is that there will only be 500 made and production will begin in 2021. So if you don't ever get a chance to drive this car, in reality, let's just hope that it's going to be in a Forza Horizon game. Number 8. The Neo EP9 As one of the fastest electric cars in the world, Clocking a time of 6 minutes and 45.9 seconds around the Nürburgring, this car brings a lot of Formula E technology from NEO's racing division. With a lack of pure electric cars in Forza, this could perhaps change the minds of many as to how death-defying they can truly be. With each wheel having its own motor and transmission, and each producing approximately 335 brake horsepower, that gives a total of a whopping 1341 bhp for just a pack of batteries. With a clever torque vectoring system, allowing the car to produce the right amount of power at the right time, it truly is the future. Weighing fairly light for an electric car at 1735 kilograms, 0 to 60 is achieved in just 2.7 seconds and can reach a top speed of 194 miles per hour. Number 9. The Automobili Pinaferina Batista. In the automotive world, this is the most powerful road legal car ever. An all electric hypercar that produces a mind boggling. 1873 brake horsepower, which is insane. I can't think of a petrol powered car that could possibly produce that much power and pass emissions for production. But that's where electric cars become exciting. With a 0 to 60 sprint of just two seconds flat, this aesthetically looks no different to any other hypercars we are familiar with. But like the Neo EP9, the only downside to electric cars is, of course, its top speed only reaching a total of 217 miles per hour. It's respectable, but in the world of petrol powered cars, that's equivalent to a 700 brake horsepower Lamborghini Aventador made in 2008. And lastly, number 10, the Zenvo TSRS. Perhaps my favorite car on this list, they take the term active aero to a whole new dimension. We've seen retractable rear wings and movable flaps, but never have we seen a rear wing that literally tilts from one side to another in order to create maximum downforce for handling. 
Honestly, it's an extremely unique feature on a hypercar, but at this point, the trend hasn't caught on. Whether it's something that truly works to better lap time remains debatable, but the Zenvo is no slouch itself, producing 1177 brake horsepower from a 5.8 litre twin supercharged engine, which can launch from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, and with that massive rear wing, can reach a top speed of 202 miles per hour. So there we have it guys, 10 new hypercars that I want in Forza Horizon 4. Let me know what you think of this list and if you guys have any other suggestions of what cars you want to see in Forza Horizon 4, make sure to put it down in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments guys and if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button, that would really help me out. And also, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 content in the near future, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.